Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're looking at how to change equations of lines in standard form to slope y-intercept form. So we're given this equation. This equation is in standard form. If you recall, the standard form is in this format, ax plus by plus c equals zero. Sometimes that c value is on the other side of the equal sign, but it still is considered standard form if the x and the y um, variables are on the same side of the equal sign. So we want to change this to slope y-intercept form. And remember what slope y-intercept look form looks like. Slope y-intercept form is the y equals mx plus b form. So in order to change the standard form to the slope y-intercept form, we're going to rearrange the equation using our opposite operations to get the y by itself. And when we isolate the y on one side of that equal sign, the rest will be in the mx plus b form. So let's look at the equation we're given, 3x plus 2y minus 5 equals 0. We need to get the y by itself. In order to get this y term by itself, I'm going to move this x term, the whole thing, over to the other side of the equal sign. And I'm going to move this constant term, the negative 5, to the other side of the equal sign as well. And then that will leave us with the 2y on its own. So remember opposite operations. If this is a positive 3x, we're going to move it to the other side by doing minus 3x on both sides. And if this is a minus 5, we're going to do plus 5 on both sides to move it over. So that is going to cancel this term and this term, which is what we want. So on the left side, we're going to be left with 2y. And on the right-hand side, we now have the negative 3x and the plus 5. But the y here is not isolated just yet. It still has the, the times 2 attached to it. So we're going to divide by 2 to get it by itself. But if we divide on one side by 2, we have to also divide on the other side by 2. So the 2's on the left will cancel, as we know, and we'll be left with y equals, on the right-hand side, we have to divide by 2 on both of these terms. So we'll do the negative 3 divided by 2. Let's leave it as a fraction right now. And then the x is attached, plus, 5 divided by 2. Let's leave that as a fraction as well. So now take a look at our equation here. This is in y equals mx plus b form. So we've done what we set out to do. If we wanted to go a step further, we can uh, pick out the slope and the y-intercept from this form. That's why it's useful. So here our slope is the negative 3 over 2 and our y-intercept is the positive 5 over 2. You can change that to a decimal if you need to to help you graph it, and you can put that y-intercept on as 2.5 if that helps. The slope should be left as a fraction because that helps you to see the rise and the run easily. So there we have right here the slope y-intercept form of the equation from the equation in standard form that we were given at the beginning. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.